What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gary with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because it is officially a new season. Okay, you can see it right here at the top of the screen. 4,000 trophies, uh, 29 days to go in this season. It looks like The Forces of Darkness Season 10. Wow, has there, has there really been 10 seasons? That's actually pretty wild. All about demonologists. So in the grand scheme of things with demonologist we're gonna run demonologist today in this deck and we also if you haven't seen my last video we finally got or i shouldn't say finally we we got trickster okay we have not gotten the mechanic have not gotten zeus we have not gotten cultist but we have gotten trickster and i just wanted to point out right quick that the faction blessing right here dark domain <clears throat> it only has one day left so that means we are in the last day of our dark domain um faction blessing time frame okay whatever's gonna happen after this i'm pretty excited to see it's not gonna be shaman spam anymore maybe it'll just go back to like inquisitor spam they might very well just go to um <clears throat> where there's there's no faction i know they did that in the past so they might do that again um or maybe they'll do something totally different we'll actually be able to get to play with a couple different cards and it should be a bit of fun but uh yeah really excited really really liking the items and the heroes and collecting all this different stuff i was looking through the premium pass and the uh <clears throat> season pass and i think it's worth it this time there's shards for rare heroes there's shards for trainer but now you can at least i can get trickster i can get um jay i don't think you can still get i, I still don't think you can get snowflake or mechanic from the from the shards but you can get a bunch of other stuff including items that you can put onto your heroes so i definitely think it's more worthwhile to get the pass because if you guys didn't know i didn't get the pass last season because i didn't think it was worthwhile um so yeah we're definitely going to do that probably not in today's video but uh but i'm definitely excited for this season and i'm excited to see what kind of new decks are going to come into the meta from the new faction whatever the new faction is going to be if you guys are enjoying this video make sure that you guys are subscribed and also check out those memberships we had a little bit of a membership train just yesterday yesterday just yesterday uh on the stream we got a bunch of different things that you guys can get from being a member really excited about that and uh yeah let's just keep chugging along oh i should be using my trickster if you guys haven't seen trickster be used as of yet it's basically uh you there's no slow there's no stun there's no nothing like that maybe if i level it up there will be i'm not 100 percent sure but uh every time i use it the amount of mana that my opponent gets is just like decreased and i steal some from it all right i get some mana from what he is killing so the fact that i'm using demonologist and um trickster you should get a pretty healthy flow of mana and that's kind of the idea behind why i'm playing this doing pretty good here oh we took it out before wow i, I was not planning whatsoever on taking that out before uh it switched us but we did we did and this is uh yeah thunderer is thunderer leveled up right now i can't even remember if it, if it is or not i feel like this season has been super super long and i hope a bunch of people come back because i feel like people have have not necessarily stopped playing but didn't necessarily like the the faction for this season so i hope that they definitely come back and uh and enjoy the next season a little bit better but let's see we gotta find some things to do here we gotta rank what the heck is that a rank five uh summoner in there and it's actually we've got um i'll just do that i guess We've got um, Bedlam coming up now. I wish we didn't have Bedlam because because we got all this stuff going on here. Let's do that. I'm going to do that. All right. Let's keep on pushing. Let's use our Trickster. Uh, keep on going here. Inquiz is not the deck that I want to play against when I am using this deck. Oh, I should have. Mm, I messed up there. I should have copied my... There we go. Now we can do it. Do, do, do. Do that. Let's go over here. Pretty good board, to be honest. I feel like that's really one of the most fun parts about playing this deck, is you can get your board looking pretty crazy. 
But we got 12 seconds. Like I said before, Trickster doesn't do anything except for give you more mana. So I'm going to play it because we just got it. Is it really all that strong? Uh, you know, I think in today's day and age, there's a lot of slow, a lot of stun. Um, so I'm not sure if it's the strongest. Uh, well, I didn't really need to do that. Let's do that. Do that, that. Do this. <clears throat> uh, go here. Alright, we should be good. Let's see if we can actually spam him a little bit more. Oh, that was really bad for us. But there is a victory right there. I will take that any day of the week. He's using Trainer. He's using a pretty cool Inquis deck without any slow or stun. I respect it because, hey, it's a little bit off meta, but it's also easier to beat. If he was running any type of slow or stun, he might have been in better shape. Or at least just throw uh, J in there or maybe Snowflake if he has it. But I will take it. I'm really, really excited about this new update. I, I think I've said this in the past, but I think this update is now the best. I think every update has been the best, okay? I have not gotten the Cultist, like I said, so I haven't played with it. But I love the fact that we've got daily quests, we've got seasonal quests... And we've got career quests, which there's so many of them. This one here, complete a total of a thousand waves in co-op. That might seem a little absurd. We can do that. Like a thousand is not crazy. Uh, you know, if I get a hundred every time, I think I got a hundred and nine in the last one. I might, I might just be completely making that up. But I love something to kind of strive for and continue to, to build upon and all these different things. And I absolutely love the hero stuff here where you can you know, forge some stuff where you can, um, you know, level things up here. I'm making sure like this, this here is my first rare item. I had four of the magic amulets, so I'm not going to level it up at all. I'm just going to keep getting magic amulets and keep uh, forging them until I get an epic, probably even just until I get a, a legendary amulet, which I don't know if that makes sense or not let's jump into another game finally got ourselves into a game not really sure why that took so long but let's see if we can continue on and get a few more victories i see that we're playing a a shaman deck actually he's running executioner also which is pretty interesting but also we're going up against a tribunal so let's try to make sure oh that was pretty good that we spammed right there when we did so let's also try to make sure that we can handle this guy properly and uh, and hopefully come out with a win with our fancy little double mana deck with the combo of Trickster. We're going to hit it right now. As well as Demonologist. So let's see what he does. He's coming my way. Coming my way, coming my way. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We got Tribunal. Come over here. Do that. Don't mind that at all. I've been really playing this uh, season pretty differently when we go up against Tribunal. Because we end up just getting so much mana and then can kind of just combine out well enough to be in a good spot. We did get a rank 3 right there, so let's try and focus a little bit more on our Thunderers here. But since we're going up against Shaman, don't know why I did that. Since we're going up against Shaman, I'm not really too uh, worried about keeping my board kind of tight like I normally would with typical um, Tribunals. Because I want to have enough to be able to combine out... If he comes down, so I'm not just losing mana every time he hits me with a shaman. But we got 2,300 mana. You can see right here, we're already in really good shape. We got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's combine out one time. Rhyme in a little bit. And uh, and this is how we're going to go into Tribunal. And hopefully we can take the compost out because it's getting a little stinky. You guys like that? All right, we still have a rank 4. Um... Still have a rank for Demonologist inside of that square, which is not ideal, but it's not terrible. Let's see. We do have... Okay, we have some summoners. Let's do this. 
Let's hit our J. I, or not J. I want to hit our Trickster as much as we can. Because that's how we're going to profit the most. Alright, let's do some of these. I can do that. Alright. I will take that any day of the week. Alright, let's go... I'm going to do this. Let's get these all the way maxed here. I'll go over here. Up here. Do a couple of these. Maybe I should have saved one. Nope, we got one back. Doesn't matter. Another trickster. Let's use him. Let's go over here. Uh, we'll cope. keep coming. Alright, beautiful. Rank three something. We'll do that. Don't mind that at all. Oh, that's not the move I wanted to make. Are we winning? Are we doing good things? Oh, actually, we have a million of these things. Let's do them. Doesn't even matter. There's a hit. There's a hit. There is a victory. I will take that right there. We definitely had a crazy overflow of mana between Demonologist as well as Trickster. I do kind of like running Thunderer in this deck because it works out having a little bit of slow just because it's a little bit tough to not have any slow in your deck. Thunderer at least stuns and slows a little bit, but let's jump right back in. Let's see if we can get one final victory using this deck, using our new Trickster hero, which I'm really, really excited about. I can't wait to try him out in co-op and see if he's really worthwhile in co-op. I think that would be really, really cool. And, uh, and let's jump right in. If you guys want to join me on a live stream, I live stream every Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going up against Danny Diido, not to be confused with Danny DeVito. Um, we would absolutely love to have you every Friday, 11 a.m. And, uh, oh, it lagged right there, so I couldn't get the switch. All right, this is not going great. Let's do that. Did it lag again? No. Do that. Oh, it almost lagged again. Dude, look at this lag! Wow, this dude's lagging me all over the place. Well, that's not ideal. I was switching before he even came. We got Tamer. I always want to say Trainer or Tamer or something like that. Let's level our guys up here. I'm going to come down here. Spam our board a little bit. But already our board is a little bit scary because we don't have anything to, um, to stop the flow of monsters like any other hero would. Did I get that switch? No, because there's lag everywhere. What is all this lag? Alright, that's really useful. Let's get ours up to four. We should be fine now. And uh, and I can just keep using my... my. Uh, I can't do anything there. My trickster, any chance I get. Danny DeYito. Let's try to put this man in his place. Eh, let's do that. Get a little extra mana. Go over here, go over here. And we can actually do one more. Let's do that. One more of those. Actually, we combined out right there perfectly. Spam a little bit. And uh, this is how we'll go into our tamer here. So I feel pretty confident in what our board looks like. I'll just do that for the fun of it. Maybe I'll wait for um, the next wave just to spam a little bit more. But all in all, not a bad start. Let's really try and focus on some demonologists right now. Let's do a little bit of that. Let's do a little bit of this. Let's do that. Let's come down here. Let's go there. Let's try and go here and here. Gonna do that. That's not what we want. Keep going. Keep going. Let's do this. Oops, I did my demonologist by accident. Keep on spamming. All we can do is keep on spamming. Do that. I'll do this. That'll be a monster. Do our trickster. We'll do a bunch of summoners. We haven't gotten the thunderers that we want. Finally, a couple right there, which was really good. And uh, let's see. 
I'm gonna do that right now just because I I need to survive. So now we can do all these. Okay, that was really good. Go here, go here, go up here, do some more. Ah, uh, I got that switch. <laughs> you see me just dragging it all over the place? Let's do that. Another trickster. They're getting pretty far on my board though too. Let's do another thunderer. Oh, he paused him. Uh, do I have another thunderer? Let's do another thunderer. We should be okay, and right there, there is a victory. Hit him with a good game. Absolutely love that these games are going pretty quickly. Not too shabby right there. He's at 4866. He's got a level 8 Boreas, level 8, level 7, level 11, level 8. Nothing too crazy, but hey, Trickster definitely works. We're doing Demonologist Spam. We're doing uh, Trickster plays, getting a bunch of mana, and it's actually working pretty well. So I don't think this is necessarily the best deck with Trickster, but I'll be interested to see how people kind of utilize them. Because I think if you have one type of slow unit in there, and if you want to do double mana with like Demonologist and Trickster, you're going to have far, like a pretty big edge on your opponent just mana-wise, which hopefully you can translate that into damage or outlasting the other the opponent or something like that. Uh, so I, I don't know. I, I think it's pretty unique, and I think it should be pretty good in the meta but that's going to be the end of this youtube video guys if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video